Hello, YouTube. I hope you enjoy that show today. Today's the Mandonian Scareclub House OTS in Bedford. Yep. I've been going to bed for the last couple of weeks, for the last sort of month now for my locals. I've been stopped going to war games just because I don't want to play 30 pounds each time, and it's much better to play something like, and, and that means I can't spend very much on this game so much, uh, on the, on the, on the decks I want to play so much, so, so, overall, there were 20 players, I got one win out of four rounds, so, not, not the greatest win, oh yes, I did. Greatest my win, so but there'll be some things. Overall, I played well. My matchups were I'd show you my deck. So we were playing one scarecrow and three scarecrow was really a nice ascender to this time around. It was a sender, it was sometimes a it was it was a nice ascender and a good star card with a deck and stuff, yeah, which is called cool, quite handy, really. Then the Menonian and then the Menonian stuff. So three Me Messi, three Menonian, Rhino Heart, and three Menonian. Um, uh, what's them? And these ones were all good in their own situations. This was always a star card for me, which was good. Always finally handy. I always saw it was good, which is key. Um, this was pretty good. It did come up quite often, a lot of time, it changed the level, which is good, that came up a lot of times, actually a lot more than I thought. And this one, not so good, this is the one I think I will change the two off, off so much, yet yeah, when the new stuff comes out. Um, then we were playing three of the Scareclaw, uh, Rise Heart, very good, very powerful card, very good, again, the 1500 attack, Finny with ease, which is good, which is cool, only one target, so... Which is cool. I want more targets, but it turned out I didn't need an extra target. It would have been nice for an extra monster. Then the rest were one cash tier scareclaw. That was fine. It's good to stand there, good defending. So didn't need it very much. I think this card's not very good at the moment. So then we play two of Bastion, two Anon, and two Mania. Yep, those two were good. All of them were good in the right situation. This was good to win with the game with Stample. Yep. In one of my matches, yep, did win the whole game in general, but that gave me help. This was good for giving attacks and stuff, which was cool, which is good, just a nice standards in general. And this was just, this was the weakest one out of them all. I reckon this was the weakest one, so I reckon this is the one you might need to take out in the future when, when we get the new stuff. And then, Ibiru and Ash Boston were the hand traps this week with impermanence. Not the greatest. Ash Blossom done its job this week. Not so much. It was still a good card. A Biro feels like it's gonna come out soon and go more on a side card. Oh, so, so hopefully that will come. So hopefully that'll be better soon. Didn't come up so much as I thought. A Biro did. Impact was good. Just not very often I saw it, so that which is a bit of a shame. But hey ho, these things will happen. Uh, two, Pantoranoia, very good, very powerful card, saw it every time, sometimes I saw multiple, so maybe not so much now, but I did see two often. Booger Clit was good when it needed to be, and some situations was not so good. Um, Droplets was not very good now, I think we need to take this out now, I saw it every single game, so that's not a great side. Right. And then we played Magnonian. And we play our Manonian package of the spell cards. Um, this was very good. The draw card's very powerful. It can just get you any card you need to get to. You need to draw or reveal what card you need to, to fix your kind of hand, which is good. Draw card. Oh, oh it was good. Very powerful. This um, Manonian um, Anison was alright. It was a nice one off, but I think we need to play more of it in the future. This was good. Power Tone. Well, the good news is we're going to play in this too more often. Ray Fonzine was excellent this week. Was good this week. Um, this was the good and only target. And um, half fair dust was not so good. We'll talk about Imperm was not so good this weekend. Um, Menonian, the negate, um, the counter trap card version of them was not very good. I didn't see it very often, so I didn't end on it very often, which was a bit of a shame. So. Uh, 
One Fina Star, one Dead to Star Frost. Very good. It was very good. I needed every single. Sometimes I need two. Cold Dragon was very good, very powerful. The Flare was good. Um, Soul Soul was good. This didn't make, but I couldn't make it anyway, so it didn't come up, which is a good, which is not bad, so I guess, but it was there just in case. Two Scarecrow, Light Heart, Light Heart was very good, very powerful. Um, the Dark Charm was okay, there were some situations I didn't need. Most games didn't actually make it very often. IP was good, um, Cross Sheet was very good. Uh, this was X, this won me a game. It won me a couple, of, this won me like two games or something, which is good. Um, I mean, one game and, and won me a match, so which is good. Uh, Newcomb was good, but I feel like that's gonna come out soon. Uh, I feel like some of this will change. Um, Absolute was good, but it didn't do enough. Some strange reasons, some people can play around it really well. Assist code was very good, was didn't make very often, but it was there just in case. And Underworld Girls feels like it's gonna come out soon because it's not that good. Side deck was Ghost Ogre, two caustic cyclone, dog roll no more. Uh, Join Lock, but equally matched and dimensional barrier. Uh, Join Lock was very good, what it needed to do. I didn't side it very much, but when I did, it was handful. Same with Ghost Spell. Ghost Spell was very good. Ghost Spell signed quite a lot, just didn't see it. Same with uh, Cyclone, it was very good. It helped out with the fun tree, but I still lost. Dot Roman was good in general. Um, equally matched, did not see it, so unfortunately. And Deep Barrier was a same issue. Yeah. So overall, Oh, I done one. I won one game. And it was four rounds. And it was twenty, so not bad. Um, I think we could have done a lot better in general. I um, could have won the game. So my match were Thunderies. Didn't do great because they just played on my opponent on my turn, which is not great. Right. Then it was branded Despian. That was very good. Very back and forth. I just could have had that one. One against uh, Evil Twin Sprite. I almost had that actually. I thought that game was very good. I almost had it, so that was cool. Just the last game was a bit of a brick, so that happened. And then D and then then the last game was DED. Yep, which is a bit strange. So yep, but okay. Alright. Uh, DD was one of my easiest matchups ever. I think he's still new to deck, and I as I said, DD is very complicated deck to play. Um, overall, there's quite a few changes. I'll take down some of the scareclaw lists, take out the droplets, and stuff. There are some new cards I have four about putting in. I obviously need a black wind synchro, but these are coming in soon when the new Nonian stuff will be good. Also, so which would be cool, which would be quite unique and stuff. Yeah. Yep, so overall, these are the cards I'll be putting in. Um, I also will be playing main deck in Dark Roll no more in the future. So, I don't. So he went first, he made a board with the Thunderies. I always feel like Thunderies don't make a very fresher board. But that could play an opponent's turns, it really annoys me because I can't get rid of the Penguin. He just plays Valley, yo, um, which is a shame. Um, and he won. He came fourth, which is not very good. It means they're not doing good local, not doing great locals. If he comes fourth, so uh, Brandon Despin was a very good matchup in general. It was a very tight, very close matchup in general. Yep, uh, <laughs> Sprite. Evil Twin was, he bricked to the first game, so that was an easy win. Second game, I could have got him. I nearly had him, but just messed it up a bit, I think. I made a full ball against Branded, coming back to that. And I still wasn't good enough, so I need to figure out what I need to do more. And DD, uh, that was a very easy, very telegraph sort of matchup for me. I think the guy was new, so he didn't know how to play against decks, the new decks. So I think he was a bit of an old school player, he needs to realise things have changed a lot. So, yep. So things I will change, I'll put the bestials in and put the new field, put another of the field spell in. I'm also going to put Call by uh, Branded Beast and Branded Redding will be a good card. And also there's a Blackwing card which looks quite interesting. I can make a Blackwing Synchro and stuff would look quite cool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. But show today, subscribe and watch all on my Facebook, Instagram, Skyrock. 
Yep, all those. Um, well, it's been good. It's been all right. Um, football season started next. Um, not next. A couple of weeks. So that's good. Uh, we don't know if we're gonna be able to get tickets or not. So, so for Wrexham, um, I'll be going to Manchester on Monday. So, uh, on on Saturday. So I will be filming back until Tuesday next week. So I hope you enjoyed that show. Just go. Peace, everyone. Good luck doing everyone.